What's going on guys, Too Fast Joe here. And this video is something special. I managed to get my hands on some animation cells. If you don't know what an animation cell is, cell, short for celluloid, is a transparent sheet which objects are drawn or painted on for traditional hand-drawn animation. So basically, back in the day, animators had to draw each and every frame. And I managed to get my hands on some cells from the adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog from their website called Animation Legends. Now, enough for the intro. Let's get to the video. What's going on guys? Too Fast Joe here. And right here I got my animation cells, so let's get right into it. First, I got the Certificate of Authenticity. Proving that they're real. Ooh, this looks good right here. Hmm. We got Sonic as a doctor. Ooh. This one's really good. Um, normally, I will like uh, remove the uh, the lamination so I can see it, but the paint is stuck on these um, on the page because the uh we come to the website the they want to like store it properly so the paint is like on the the pic uh, on the page itself so if you try to like uh, tear it off it might um damage it so i'm not going to attempt to uh remove it but that looks really good let's see I forget what this character's name is. I think it's like Coconut. I can't remember. Looks like he like looking up at the like I don't know some kind of like base. Look at the back. You can really see like the sketches on the back too. That looks really cool. Okay, they kind of damage up top right here. Like I said, he won't store properly. I don't know who the hell this guy is. I I never watched uh, the Adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog, even though I'm a Sonic fan. I never really liked the show itself, because um, like I like more I'm more of a sad I am um, kid. But um, with Sonic the Adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog, like it was too goofy and wacky. It was like not, didn't really uh, like um, I didn't really like it. It was just a bunch of like. Um, like, uh, I don't know, like, if I won't watch Slapstick, I won't, I'll watch, like, Tom and Jerry or something like that. But yeah, I don't know who this is. Um, let me know in the comments down below, because I have no idea. This is pretty cool. We got a full body Tails. I might get this one framed. This is really cool. This is really like well done. We got some sort of like mafia rat or skunk. What is that? I don't know what kind of tail that is. We got now. I I think I remember this one. I I want to say this frame right here is from episode one. I could be wrong. Like I said, I haven't seen much of the show, but I'll double check it. It's pretty cool. Oh, here it is. I'm hoping I'll get this character. Uh, remember this, I think this one is Scratch and the other one's Grounder. But I do like these characters right here. I do like the the, the sidekicks that Eggman get throughout the throughout all the Sonic series. The Scratch and Grounder, the Obot, Cubot, Deco, Boko. I like all of them. And uh, speaking of Eggman, here's the man himself. Uh, 
Ah, uh, look at him. All his glory. This segment right here, probably the most goofiest one out of all of them. Even though he tried to act sinister, he's probably the most goofiest Eggman. Um, uh, all based on like how he, um, how they animate him, especially like with his butt area. Now this right here is a smear frame. A smear frame is like in between frames from like the, the two key points. So like this right here will give it the illusion of movement. And it looks like Sonic is spin dashing out of some chains. That's cool. I really like smear frames. Like they're always cool to look at. You can even see like his eyes, uh, the several eyes movement right here. To give it like the illusion of like more movement. Oh, this one doesn't have the paper attached to it. We got some bat people. Or like some demon. We got some um, purple demons. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, here we go. Scratching ground, they're just talking. Now, uh, with these cells, normally they'll have like uh, the body would just stand still and they'll just like draw the heads and lips. That way they could talk and the body would stand still. That's how it is with most of these uh, back in the day, in the back in the early 90s when they had these cells. Uh, they would just draw the heads with the uh, lip, with the mouths, and they'll like just move the mouths and have the body just stand still. This, this is pretty good right here. We have Grounder. What? I don't know what he's doing right here. I don't know if that's supposed to be Sonic or if he has like some like, if he's blowing wind. But this is really cool right here. I love looking at these sketches. We have Scratch with uh, his head, <laughs> a chicken with his head cut off. What's new? It looks like uh, his head might be in a, and like could be like in a cave or in a mountain. It looks like it got stuck somewhere. Probably saw it dodge out the way. He like just fell in head first somewhere and got stuck. We got. Uh, half of Eggman's face right here. Again, this kid. I don't know who this is. It looks like someone from Space Jam. I don't know who this character is. Someone knows. Uh, let me know in the comments because I don't know who this character is. Look like someone. Look like someone that could be in Looney Tunes. And that's it. My favorite one has to be this Tails one. It looks. It's full body. It's in shot. And it's painted really well. This is probably my favorite one. And the only Sonic one that I got was Sonic as, as a doctor, which is which is good. You know, it, it's like open up a booster pack. You know, you never know what you might get. Ah. Uh, Again, I got these from Animation Legends. Uh, this is not a sponsorship or anything. Uh, I just wanted to get some like piece of history, and these are really good. Even though some of them are damaged, but like, that that like, that's expected, you know. These things are from the '90s, and studios don't um, like to us. They're, they're pieces of art, but to the studio, they're just uh, they're taking up space. So most of the time, they'll take these cells and just destroy them. They'll, they'll just get rid of them because uh, uh, shows they will have like hundreds of thousands of frames every episode. And studios don't have uh, a lot of space for to keep them, so they'll either give them away like this, or they'll just straight up destroy them. But I'm, I'm glad I got my hands on these. These are really cool. If, if, you want me, if you want me to do more unboxings like this, let me know in the comments down below. This has been Too Fast Joe. Remember, go fast, don't be last. Alright, so um, we're trying to look up who this character is right here. 
and found out his name is Surf. And uh, what else did it say? Uh, it says he's in one of the two underwater episodes. Yeah, in the first one, I know there's like a uh, a sea hog where it's like a mermaid and a hedgehog, and it looks weird. This show, this whole show is weird. It's like some kind of fever dream. <laughs>